So why would you take these long gaps not doing drugs? A dope wouldn't hit, you know. Oh, yeah, there just wouldn't be anything coming yeah, there'd, in. Or there'd be lockdown. Because like, it was that challenging to get it in. Yeah, there'd be racial lockdowns, too. So, like, say enough white dudes can whacked white dudes. The first one's 30 days when a white dude stabs a white dude. Now, it happens again. The next one's 60 days. It happens again. It's 120. And everybody suffers as a Every result. Every white dude's locked down. And they, the prison doesn't have any qualms about separating you by race and then punishing the oh, entire no, no, race no, no. for what one person does. It seems kind of They fucked don't up. give a they know we're rolling together. We we get punished together. Right. But then uh, even um, say there's a riot, the whole prison gets slammed down. They can't let anyone out. We're all going to kill each other. It's green light. Mm. And the whole thing is, is white dudes, Serenios, Southerners, and Pisces, we won't exit our cell with shower shoes on. So we don't leave. We don't leave the cell for a year, 14 months, 11 months, 16 months. We don't leave the cell. The other races, they'll go out in their shower shoes and be like, yeah, and they'll use the phone. They'll take a shower. We so don't. What's the importance of the shower shoes? You have to be booted, suited up and booted up. You got to be ready to bang. You know? In order to even walk out. In order to walk out yourself. And so, but if the whole race is in trouble, then they're only allowed to wear shower shoes. They're not allowed to have regular shoes. Yeah. You do, well, the cops know that our race, they're, you're coming out shower. So they're like, you can only bring your, your towel. Your your uh, soap dish, and you can walk out in your shower shoes and boxers. That's it. Mm -hmm. so they don't want you to have a banger on you. And so the mother comes out in his shit, and then uh, and the other races will do that. We won't. Like our races won't put ourselves in a predicament like that. We won't make ourselves weak like that. So we won't exit unless we have shoes tied. And some cops will be cool and they're like, Yeah, you could come out with your shoes, Watson. Go mm -hmm. take a shower, dog. And I'm like, Yeah, thank you, bro. Well, because <laughs> otherwise you're not showering for a year. Now you bird bath. What's, oh, it's just in the so sink. So you sit on the toilet, facing the sink. You fill the sink. You put a sink plug in. You fill the sink up with water. You you, you pour the water on top. of You over mm -hmm. the toilet. You soap up. You pour it on you. Then you clean the cell. That sounds miserable for fourteen months. Jesus Christ! <laughs> and it's doing multiple <laughs> workouts with your celly in there. Wow! And this is how serious it is, man. It's like level four yards and shit. There's no hands policy. I had a crazy ass celly is full red one time that I I like literally was new and we were on lockdown. Rolled up to Sea Yard, uh, Sentinella, and I had washed one of my socks when I was bird bathing. And he's like, "Where's your sock at?" I'm like, "What, Doug?" And he's like, "Where's that sock?" Like, because I hang it on my clothesline. Everything mm -hmm. needs to be hung. I'm like, "I put it in my locker, dude." Like, he's like, "Go wash it." And I'm like, "What the fuck, Doug? It's not that serious." He's like, "Go wash." The and sock. We don't have dirty clothes in the house. And it makes sense. You could have some biker celly or some burnt ass celly who's got a shit covered boxers stuffed in the locker and you're in a small ass fucking dingy cell. There's no AC, bro. Mm -hmm. Like you're burnt. You're sitting there sweating all day and it's got smelly ass shit in the cell. So, you know, we can't fight on a level four yard, no hands policy. So he's telling me, wash your boxers or I'm going to stab the shit out you. And I'm, I'm like new. I'm like, Come on, dog. He's not that serious. I'll do it later. He's like, go wash it right now. I go wash the shit. But that was like one of my first introductions to how crazy motherfuckers are in there. He was going to stab me over not washing my sock. I had a dude in here who did prison time, and he told me that he got DP'd because he brought the mop into his cell. 100%. So that, that's normal? 100%. Get DP'd for doing anything wrong. Really? Dude, dude, dude he get DP'd. I got DP'd. Okay, look at my bunkie. I dropped a fat-ass sack in the day room. Like, I was whacked out, like, on some meth, you know, smoking speed paying like 60 bucks for a strip of foil from the kitchen so I could make my candle and smoke my shit, straw and shit. And I'm on fucking plenty of fish. I'm talking to chicks on the phone. I'm on fucking XXX videos, watching porn. Oh my God. Yeah, Beating I, your limp ass dude, dick just, on meth. Dude, limp ass. My hand <laughs> on the mother. Look at not even busting a nut. Just watching another video after another video after another video after another video. Just flipping. <sighs> Dude, parachute like two grams, smoke a gram, you know, like parachute, like wrapping some toilet paper, just swallow it. And how many days are you staying up? 12 you're, days, You're not going to days. bed. Nah, like yeah. 14 days. And now I'm fucking looped and I drop a huge sack because I'm the one who's put, I got to work at the time. I drop a huge ass sack and my bunkie goes to the dude Dutch who has a yard. And my bunkie's like, hey, uh, Wes is tripping over there. Like he dropped a big ass sack and he was fronting on the other races and shit. And Dutch is like, get your ass the fuck out of here. And Tony's like. What? He doesn't really know. And Dutch calls me over and he goes, uh, why is your bunkie telling on you? He didn't give a fuck. I was fronting on the other races. He's like, why is your bunkie fucking telling on you? Mm -hmm. He's like, you know what time it is? He's telling on me. I'm going to go handle my business. So I go back and I beat the dog shit out this fat motherfucker from sack, you know, like just whooping the fuck. He had, he had buggy whips, a trash bag of a belly and titties. Like he was a shot out motherfucker. 
And I'm coming back yoked at like 250, like right. banging workouts, doing handstand push-ups till my head's bleeding, just max, mashing them on the ground. And I come in, I just max this full out, breaking them all over the day room, just f***ing them up. And I, I threw them through like the blacks area, like one of my, an area I shouldn't have. And then I got DP'd for that. And the worst part was, is the people who got to DP me was Tony and this kid Flex I fucked up the week before over him tripping on watching Breaking Bad. Really? Like he was like, no, nah, we're watching the encore version. And everybody in the day room was like, no, nah, we just watched it. Well, you were getting your package. And uh, Flex is like, no, nah, we're watching the encore version. And like, I'm like, come back here, dude. And he comes back and he swings on me right away. And then, like, we're wrestling in the day room fighting. And like, I smack his head off the uh, the bottom stair it was like top tier it's like a 180 setup and like a delano like level two and it's like uh there's a gun tower 180 setup means everything's along one wall mm -hmm. there's not like and this is like five block six block seven block and we're on the bottom right here and i smacked his head off the stair and he just got lit and i'm just blasting him and he just covers up i'm like move your hands bitch and like i'm making him move his hands and i'm just just sticking my fingers in his eye like just i'm just smacking him with him and just f***ing brutalize him for a while. Then when I got DP'd, he got to DP me and my bunky Tony. And I, bo I whooped both their asses in like the same two-week period. Well, when you get DP'd, you can't fight back? No, no, you can. It's 23 seconds. Oh, so okay. W is 23. So we do 23 seconds. For, w for white? Yeah, yeah for white. <laughs> and so, so like a 20, it's so stupid. <laughs> so 23 seconds and then, uh, but they had a plan. You know, we, we put the sheet up. We pulled the bunks apart. They had a plan. You know, the mother. Tony goes and grabs my legs and Flex just tees off on me. Mm. Just trademarks my face up, me up all bad. And I'm sitting there on the rack, coming down off a major speed binge, just fucking broken, bro. He Now now, now I got my ass whipped in front of all my people. Right. And I fucking got DP'd and I'm fucked up. And that was when I turned my life around. That was, a, that was the thing that made me turn my life around. I was so defeated. I still did my time like a G the rest of the time. Like I still put in work. I still was with the business. I still did everything I needed to do. But I knew in my heart right then, I'm like, I am never getting high again. Like, this is so, what the fuck was I doing? You're just making your life way too difficult. Oh, my right? God. If anyone was a self-sabotage master, it was me. Because right. I was smart, bro. I was good at shit. And I would just self-sabotage with drugs and alcohol. Start sipping, do a little bump. Start sipping, do a gagger. Fucking gaggers to the max. What's fucking, a gagger? Just a big ass line or whatever. <laughs> like I was clogging pens with fucking shit in there. Like fucking just crazy shit. <laughs> clogging pens. Like dude, the... literally, if you if you do a big enough gagger in prison to clog up a fucking pen, the motherfucker's probably fucking a thousand dollars. Yeah, know? it doesn't sound like you broke the coke up enough for. No, it was it was speed. You oh, know, but, it was speed. Yeah. yeah, but no, but just such big lines, like fucking boom, you know, of speed, like. Right. Psh, and I mean, you stay up for twelve days or whatever. The hangover has got to be like the gnarliest. Oh, the hangover like, kill me. There's like four kill, four yeah. days of Please you God, just shoot curled up in a ball, right? Shoot me in the face. I'm yeah. done. I'm done. We just hit six hundred thousand subscribers on the Clips channel right here. We're trying to get to seven hundred, so you know what to do. Smack that red button and subscribe. Appreciate you.